welcome back to my channel uh, office 365 we are going with office 365 series and in that there is another one uh, as you know that if you might have noticed uh, or you know that when you sign up for the trial it's only for 30 days uh, I was sick uh, for like 20 days so for three weeks uh, give and take I could not use office 365 I could not complete this uh, series in time and you know my office expired and then you know in some of the videos I said it could be latency issues or it was uh, it could be the like I don't have access to it and even, even in Yammer the emails were not sent <coughs> so I checked the external user get the emails just the internal user were not so what I did is I opened up ended up opening a ticket uh, wait, it is right there <coughs> so I actually went first to commu Microsoft uh, community somewhere that is right there answers.microsoft.com I posted my question there and then I was told by the by Marvin to contact support here how do you contact support in office 365 I showed you in the in a previous video but basically you have to click here need help so it could be anything it could be your services down like uh, like uh, um, other than uh, it could be uh, billing issues uh, maybe a service is down like exchange is down or you one of your services not working and you it says um, in the home tab that that uh, uh, service is healthy then you can open a ticket from here how do you do that you cannot contact support directly so you have to actually write it in a few keywords and if I write in for example exchange and okay let's see then you have this uh, it's no longer grayed out so if you have a billing issue again you have to type in and then you can click on it so basically the it automatically fills the title for you what I did was how to extend my trial because I you know I needed it <clears throat> how do I extend my trial so they give me the ticket number I could not capture the I should have but basically what it is it shows you real time on a screen uh, like uh, within a minute the ticket gets assigned to an agent and then you have to enter your path e uh, your phone number and then they contact you on phone uh, within next five or six minutes uh, maybe it could be different like uh, <clears throat> they were telling 15 minutes wait time but they called me in six minutes I believe so uh, sh the agent she verified uh, uh, what I had written in here like why I needed it and <clears throat> she asked me uh, w basically everything what I wrote in there and she asked me whatever you put they verified that uh, you did you write that or not or uh, all that and then they make you sign out of office then they do their magic in the back end and within two minutes they tell you go ha go ahead sign back in they gave me about I would say two months uh, seven weeks so I have until the very end of February to use my office 365 and that's more than enough I can definitely uh, play around in the um, <clears throat> whatever is left and I, I want to use it every day to get the maximum exposure and then pass the test <clears throat> so I'm gonna go but this, this is how you extend it once they are done and they tell you to log in and you see you verify that yeah I see the date that you just told me in my case uh, uh, it was uh, let me cl close it in my case it, I have until 29 February so it's always this style always the same it is when you click on here and then you get to see this is team commercial Microsoft is really pushing it you see 500,000 licenses for each one to just simply give it away to whoever uh, general public can have it so you see it, it used to say if you remember from one of my previous videos it would say expired on 25th December so now I have until 29th February to uh, really nail it down to really learn and hopefully <coughs> in two months uh, I plan to do the teams like I'm gonna give it another month or two so in the very last week of February I want to 
see what's in team like i want really them to push everything out <coughs> they are or in other services like they're migrating but this is how you extend the trial you have to contact them they're very generous and they give you <coughs> they extend the trial for you because uh, quite frankly uh with even if i have to just give five users the subscription and i'm not uh, signing up for a year it's 15 dollars per user per month so <coughs> that's under um uh how much it is it's about like uh, 75 dollars uh, a month i cannot afford it to just to learn it you know <clears throat> uh, so if you're in a situation like mine where every dollar counts and you cannot afford to pay for uh the subscription well you're just uh, doing the study and you're just learning then definitely go contact them but uh th th don't think of it as like uh that is going to work uh, is this will expire at this date like for me it was it was saying expired even though i was able to use some of them but they were like like 100 percent they had latency issues or whatever so now i know my, in the back end everything is up and running as it's supposed to be so hopefully um the when we play around with other things they will be a lot faster if this video has helped you please read comment subscribe share and you have a good day